Hey, how you doing? This next video is actually going to cover a couple of separate terms here. Uh, first one is latent heat. Uh, second one, sensible heat. Third, latent heat of vaporization. Fourth, latent heat of condensation. Fifth, superheat. And sixth, subcool. Now, you're probably asking what happened to uh, latent, uh, latent heat of fusion. When it comes to HVAC, we really don't have to worry too much about that because that's going from a liquid state uh, to other end. With HVAC, we know we either have, I'm sorry, from a solid to a liquid. This is going either liquid or gas, so we don't really need to cover that right now. It's in the book if you want to learn about it, but anyways, I'm going to cover these. First off, latent heat. We know that's hidden heat. Uh, what it means is there's a change in state or a change in matter. Uh, it could be from a liquid to a gas, a gas to a liquid, solid to a liquid, vice versa, any one of those combinations. Uh, but it doesn't register on a thermometer, so it's sensible heat. And it's just like when you're boiling water, the water starts to boil, you hit 212 degrees. The water is going to stay 212 degrees until all the water is gone and it turns into steam. Then you'll start adding heat again. Until the water's gone, you're still in a latent heat state, which means the water's evaporating, it's turning into steam, but the thermometer still reads 212. There's no change in temperature, but there is a change in state. Now, latent heat, as far as the HVAC cycle, happens in two places. First of which, in the evaporator, uh, we know coming from the metering device, the, we're talking about R22 here, uh, going in at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, uh, for R22, 40 degrees is the boiling point. So once it enters the evaporator, here's a starter coming from the meter and vice into the evaporator. It starts at 40 degrees. It's being shot in there as a liquid vapor mix. But the purpose of the evaporator is to make sure that when it leaves the evaporator, it is a complete gas in order to make it to the compressor. So going into the evaporator, you're going to have a 75-25 mix, or it could be 80-20, uh, of liquid and gas, or mostly liquid. As you travel through the evaporator, it's going to become more gas and less liquid. But I want you to remember that it's still a mix. Now you got 40 degrees into here, that's the boiling point. Until it completely evaporates, until it completely turns into a gas, you're still at 40 degrees. The, the thermometer has not changed, but the state is changing. Here you enter at 75, 25, or 80, 20. Midpoint, you're probably around 50, 50. Uh, getting closer to the end, you're probably at 80% uh, vapor, 20% liquid. When you reach the 90%, if you remember 90% is our point of saturation in the evaporator, or the point where all the liquid has turned into a gas at 90%. That is where, once you completely get to a vapor, that's when you're able to measure heat again, and it starts to warm up. Again, once you hit the 90%, you're at 40 degrees, and then it'll begin to warm up. If you remember from the last time, that's when you enter super so, plainly, hidden heat or latent heat happens when you enter the evaporator all the way up until you get to the point of saturation, which is 90 degrees, or 90%, sorry. So, for from 0 to 90%, right here, the evaporator, you are in latent heat. It's hidden heat. In other words, the thermometer is not going to mark. The thermometer is still going to be marking... At 40 degrees. It's not going to change until you get to the 90% mark. At the 90% mark, it will start to warm up, get 45 and 50 until you get to the compressor. But all you need to know is from 0 to 90% of the evaporator, you are in latent heat. In other words, there's no change in your thermometer temperature. Now, on the other side, at your condenser, latent heat again occurs from once you enter, so you're still in superheat here, and it's adding temperature, 
when you enter the condenser, depending on how your condenser is set and what the outside temperature is, it'll vary. But when you enter here, I want to say about 130 to 115 degrees, depending on the temperature outside. At 95 outside, you're looking at a uh, 25 to 35 differential. So you're looking at anywhere from 120 to 130 degrees. You'll begin condensation. Uh, point of saturation, I'm sorry. So somewhere in here, coming in, 120, 130, whatever it is, you'll enter the condenser. Here you can see that there's measurable heat, and we'll talk about that in a minute, that's sensible heat, but you're going into the condenser, and here you enter the condenser, and zero percent for the condenser, you just enter the little door there, and you enter again latent heat. Now the thermometer again is stuck, but you're going to start to change. It, it's going in a gas, it's going to come out a liquid. So from the entrance to the condenser to about three-fourths of the way, you're going to be a mix. Here it's mostly gas. As you get closer to the end, it starts to turn more into liquid and gas. And then once you hit three-quarters of the way, it's designed to be a 100% liquid coming out. Again, if you remember, this is what we call the liquid saturation point or point of saturation at three-fourths of the way, that is when all the gas has turned into a liquid. Now here, you're a liquid state of the refrigerator coming out. So until you hit completely liquid, 100% liquid, from 0 to 100%, you're again in latent heat. In other words, the, the thermometer stays the same. It's not measuring the difference in the thermometer. But there is a change in state. Here, it's mostly vapor. You're looking at 100% vapor here. 0% liquid. Okay, when you get about halfway, you're already at about, uh, say, 60% vapor. I mean, I'm sorry, 60% liquid, 40% vapor. When you get to three quarters of the way, you're 100% liquid, 0% vapor. All the vapor has gone away, condensated into a liquid. That is a point of saturation or the boiling point. At 100% or three quarters of the way, latent heat stops, and now you can start to measure again a difference. If you remember, this is where you enter subcooling. Okay? So, two terms that were three terms that we covered there. The first one is latent heat, hidden heat. Happens, remember, in the evaporator from 0 to 90%, all the way up until you hit the point of saturation. And then, from zero to three quarters of the way through, you're also in latent heat in the condenser. Again, we just covered briefly superheat and subcool. This is when you're leaving, when you hit the 90%, latent heat finishes, you enter superheat. Here, latent heat finishes, you enter subcool. Remember, superheat and subcool are both changes in temperature. You're adding heat or you're taking away heat. So it cannot happen during latent heat. Ne never will subcooling or superheat happen during latent heat. Okay, it doesn't work together because you have to for superheat or subcool, you have to have a change in the thermometer. And this will not latent heat's hidden here. It doesn't match up on the thermometer. Okay, sensible heat. Well, if this is latent heat inside here from zero to ninety or zero to three quarters. That's latent heat. That's hidden heat. Everything else other than those two places is sensible heat. That's heat that can be measured on a thermometer. Here, you're exiting at about 40 degrees. Say 40. Once it exits, it starts getting to 45. When you enter into a compressor, you're at about 50 or 55 degrees. You come out of the compressor, it shoots up to about 230 degrees. When you're entering into the condenser, you're about 130. When you come out of there, you're at about 115 going into the metering device. From 115, metering device gets you down to 40. I mean, out of the metering device into the evaporator. But if you notice all here, you're having a change in temperature. The thermometer is either rising or going down. That is sensible heat. That's heat that can be sensed by a thermometer. 
So there's only two parts, latent heat here and here, sensible heat is everything else. Okay. Latent heat of vaporization, very simple to understand. Latent heat of vaporization happens here. Remember we said this is latent heat? This is where it's latent heat of what? Evaporator. Remember, vapor, evaporator has the word vapor in it. Okay, it's the hidden heat during the vaporization. That's what it means. So latent heat of vaporization is this part right here. Latent heat of condensation is this part of the condenser right here. And all it is is heat removed or added uh, during, uh, before the point of saturation. So it's either one of those. So that's all you have to really remember. Latent heat of vaporization on the evaporator. Latent heat of saturation on I mean, the condensation is in the condenser. And then everything else is sensible heat. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.